Welcome to this Optimize Press Clubhouse update. Today's template is called Agile, and here it is on the screen. So let's take a look at this template as we go on through. We're looking at all the different call to actions that are in place and the imagery, how it's been aligned throughout the template. So you can see right away the top section with this large font on the left hand side. This is actually a font, it's not an image or anything, so it's a font there, a large font on the left, and then this other font supporting headline and some bullet lists on the right hand side. And you've got that nice background image as well, which blurs or the color of the gradient comes over the same towards the left. So you can see them read this text very easily. If we click on this, it opens up the overlay and inside that we've got an opt-in form, percentage bar at the top, nice big font in there so it stands out, but looks very clean. Um, it's re very, very clean, um, minimal distractions inside there, little text, um, very enticing to enter your name and email in. So that's a nice little call to action using the same colors as well into that button. We then drop down into this row section where we've got a um, row with the apps icon. So this is available in these um, platforms. You've got the two little rows there. We've got the three icons, sorry, one row, three icons. So it's nice and simple. You can see straight away what this app is for. And then we drop down into a video section, a place to get in a bit more content, nice headline above, simple um, supporting paragraph underneath, and then your video there. We then drop down into a benefits or a features block area. We can put in a bit more information about your app, what it does, all the different benefits or features of the actual app. You see we've got the little icons. These are default icons that come with Optimized Press inside these little tiny colored boxes. So it breaks up the normal same color background, makes these stand out a bit better on the page. We then go down into this row. So a nice clean, simple row, call to action on the right. Again, opens up that same overlay optimizer that's been cloned down from above. And these bars really do stand out nicely. They break up the two content pieces above and below and they stand out lovely on the page. This can be cloned then again throughout the page if you want it. And we then go down into images. So we've got benefits on the left with this image over on the right. When we go down again, the eye follows down to this benefit area, image on the left, and we drop down again to the left. So you can see how they're staggered, lovely layout there with these images tucked over to the right and the left, using a bit of CSS within the row settings. So don't mess around with that, but you can replace the image if you wanted to. We then go down into this row section, a little testimonial or even the person behind this app. So it could be a picture of yourself or you could have a customer testimonial in there. That's entirely up to you how you want to use that, but a nice little place, either social proof or show who's behind this um, product or this app in this case. And here we see that row again. We've got the little row at the bottom there, the last final call to action, clone from above, same, opens up the overlay optimizer. So another chance to grab a name and email of someone. Um, I don't need to show you anything inside the editor, so it's a beautiful template, lovely color combinations used with that purple throughout, a very soft tone to it, and a beautiful layout of the images that are staggered through the template design. If you use this one in your business, please do let us know. We'd love to see it in action.